Hi everyone, this is ITMan79, and I am going to show you today a overclocking video for my MSI P67C43 uh, Revision 3 or B3 uh, motherboard and my 2600K CPU. I will show you the settings that I have tweaked uh, so that those with similar systems can make those decisions for themselves that they want to overclock and uh, kind of have a base a baseline on what to use. Uh, for my 4.5 gigahertz I have adjusted the CPU ratio to 45, which gives me 4500. Internal PLL over voltage I'm going to leave it auto. I've played with a lot of these settings and honestly PLL over voltage uh, from what I hear doesn't really kick in or is not needed until around 4.8 uh, to 4.9 gigahertz. Uh, my XMP memory profile is enabled because I am using XMP memory spread spectrum. For those who are wondering why their base clock is not showing up as 100 megahertz in CPU Z, it is because of spread spectrum. Spread spectrum is actually a setting that if your computer is in close proximity to other computers, it varies the base clock rate uh, so that your computer doesn't interfere with other computers in the vicinity. Uh, it's more like a uh, modulation type thing. So if you want to get a 100 megahertz base clock, definitely disable spread spectrum. Uh, V-droop control, I leave that on auto. The other option is for low, and you know what? Made no difference when I chose either one, so we'll just leave all that on auto. Uh, now for 4.5 gigahertz on my system, I've had to use 1.31 volts in BIOS uh, to get a stable overclock. Once you have made these changes, uh, go ahead and save your changes by hitting F10 in the BIOS. Of course, I'm not going to save because I've already saved these changes. So I'm going to escape out. And we will log into Windows. Open up CPU Z. And you can see that I am running 4.5 gigahertz with a core voltage of 1.328 volts. Temperatures with real temp. We're in the 30s and 40s, which is pretty good. If you really want to see what your overclock can do, I suggest downloading Linux and then running that with CPU Z and real temp open. What that is now going to show me is under a heavy load, which Linux is like the heaviest load I can imagine putting on a PC, it's going to show me what my peak voltage is. And then it will also show me what my load temps are. And right now, they're in the 60s, and they should go much higher than that. I think the highest that I've pegged uh, with Linux running is around 80C. Now, my Arctic Silver 5 is freshly installed, so it's not quite cured. It needs around 200 hours. So I do anticipate uh, temperatures going down a little bit from the ADC. I'm hoping to stabilize around 75 to 77C. You will also notice that I've hit my peak voltage of 1.36 volts. And that is what my CPU maxes out at when running Linux. And you'll see 78C so far is the highest on core number two. My core two is always the hottest. Core three comes in second. Uh, core four comes in third. And my first core is always the coolest for some reason with my processor. A lot of you will say, well, that might be how you've applied your thermal paste or what type of cooler you're using and how your cooler is attached. And I have used stock cooler. I've used a Zalman. I've used a Cooler Master TX3. And I'm currently on a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. And it has all been the same with every cooler that I have. So I definitely know it is chip related and not so much cooler related. And there you see that I've hit a peak of 79 Celsius on core number two. 
Well, there you have it. There's my overclocking video. This is what you want to do to ensure stability. I definitely suggest running Linux and also Prime 95. Prime 95 will give you lower temperatures and requires less volts. Uh, but Linux is really the way to know if your Sandy Bridge overclock is good. I mean, honestly, you'll need to run both if you want to make sure for sure. Like myself, I run 20 passes of Linux and I also run several hours uh, or more of Prime 95 to ensure stability. Another thing that I found is even though Prime 95 and Linux uh, they show up as stable, you could load up say your favorite game, let's take uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 for instance, and just sit at the opening menu and if your voltages are not good enough on a Sandy Bridge system you will blue screen of death with a 0124 error. So I was encountering that for several days, trying to get my voltages tuned in. And for the life of me, I almost gave up on overclocking uh, just because I was getting tired of being stable in Linux, being stable in Prime 95, but not being able to even sit at the opening menu screen of Grand Theft Auto 4. What turns out is I just needed a little bit of a bump in my voltages, and now everything is good to go. So while I was rambling on you can see that core number two did hit ADC so definitely need to let my arctic silver 5 cure a little bit longer but ADC is my personal limit on Linux I do not like to be above ADC while Linux is running uh, that's just my motto some people say well 80 to 85 C on a sandy bridge is okay with Linux my goal is ADC I will not push my chip farther if it's going to exceed ADC in, uh, in Linux. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Later.